Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at how to change textures from Reality Hub in real time. So let's begin the tutorial. First, let's create a blueprint. Right click, blueprint class, actor. I'll call this BP underscore player card. Player card. We'll open this up. Let me just add a plane. So we will apply a material with a texture on this plane and then we will change the texture from Reality Hub. So let's create that material first. Right click material. I'll call this master material mm underscore player mat. I have these PNGs in my Reality Workspace folder. They are all 1024 by 1024 in size. If you want to know how to create this folder and how to install Reality Editor and Hub, then check out my video. The link is on the top right of the screen. So let's take one of these textures. Open up the material. Take the texture, drag it. Select the material and under blend mode, change it to mask. Take the texture, connect the RGB to base color and the alpha to the opacity mask. Now right click on the texture sample and convert it to a parameter. I'll call this image texture. Apply and save. Go back to the blueprint, select the plane. Choose our material which was MM player material. I will just rotate this in place. I'll move this up a little bit. Compile, save. Drag the blueprint onto the viewport. And now let's work on this blueprint so that we can change this image in runtime. First, Let's go to the construction script, drag in the plane. From here, let's type create dynamic material instance. Connect the pins. From return value, drag out a pin. Promote to variable. Let's call this dynamic texture. Compile. Now in the event graph, delete everything else take the dynamic texture get drag out a pin and search for set texture parameter value what is the name of the parameter that we're trying to change it is in our material this was a parameter so the parameter name is image texture copy it back in the blueprint in the parameter name just paste it and now we have to create a variable which goes into the value so let's create a variable and call this player image and for the variable type search for texture render target 2d object reference texture render target 2d object reference make it public drag it in get connect it to value now now let's create a custom event right click add custom event we will call this on change underscore and the name of this variable so i'll rename if you want to know how this custom event works check out my tutorial the link is on the top right what it is basically saying is once this variable changes execute this event it is pretty simple to understand so when we change this variable from reality hub this event will get executed that is the general function of this custom event at the end let's add a zd actor i will call this wrestler gfx Compile, save. Now click play. 
backend reality hub you can see that we have this wrestler gfx node and there is an input for player image so any texture that we plug in here we will update here automatically so let's see how this works right click and add media input connect this to the player image from media input i will go to my assets and the folder of wrestlers i will choose another and select So this is how you change textures in real time. In the next tutorial, we will be creating a complete player graphics. We will be using all the techniques that we have learned in the previous tutorials. We will also take a look at the form builder and how to create templates and how to create a rundown using the player tab. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.